you need a quick and easy stocking stuffer idea with sublimation, then this is the video for you. It's an inexpensive stocking stuffer that everyone on your list is sure to love. Plus, it's one of the easiest sublimation projects that I've done so far. So, my stocking stuffer sublimation gift idea is no show socks from silky socks my name is alex vanover with diy alex and i'm so glad that you're here in this video i'm going to show you how to sublimate no show socks for everyone on your gift list so let's get into it to get started sublimating your no show socks the first step is of course to choose a design so i chose a grinch seamless pattern that i found on etsy and after you purchase it the next step of course is to download it and i'm going to download the png version of the file and as soon as i download it it's going to open up here in my photos app since i didn't have to extract the image the next step is to click the edit image button and saved a flipped or mirrored version of my image so that it'll look exactly like this when I put it on the sock. The next step is to open up the flipped or mirrored version of the file that you just created. Now I recognize that everybody's photos app on their computer may look a little bit different, so you may have to click around to find some of these same options. But for me to print from my photos app, I go to the three little dots on the right hand side and then choose print. And next I can set up the print settings that I want for my print. First, I'm gonna choose my ST4000 as my sublimation printer. And I have found that for the small and medium no-show socks, they fit best on the portrait version of a piece of paper. So I'm gonna leave my image in portrait orientation. Then I'll choose my paper type to premium piece presentation paper mat, and I'm gonna leave the fit as fill page. That way the print goes all the way edge to edge. Then under more settings, I'm gonna choose the output quality from standard to high, and then click okay. And if your printer is like mine, and it prints eight and a half by 11 pieces of paper, then keep in mind, you're gonna need four total copies of your image, because you're gonna need one piece of paper for each front of each sock, and then one piece of paper for the back as well. Then once you have all the print settings in place, you can click print and print your image. And while these designs are printing, I want to take a moment to thank Silky Socks for sponsoring this video. The neat thing about the Silky Socks no-show socks is that the jig is already inserted into the sock. So all you need to do is lint roll the sock, tape on your design, and you're ready to sublimate. Lint rolling the sock is especially important if you have a white background on your design because the lint can actually change color once you put it underneath the heat press. If you have a design that's all colored, it's not quite as important, but it's never gonna be a bad idea to lint roll your socks first. Then once they're lint rolled, you can position them with the sock side down onto the print. So I'm gonna start with the top of the sock and I'm gonna hold the sock up to the light like this so I can kind of see what part of my print is actually going to fall on the sock. So I'm gonna hold it up towards the window and take a look. Then once I like where it's going to um, hit on the sock, I'm gonna flip it back over and tape it down to the surface. Then once I have it taped down, I'm gonna cut away some of the excess around the sock just so I don't get quite so much sublimation ink onto the platen of my heat press and my butcher paper. Then I'll repeat all the same steps on the second sock. Now we're ready to head to the heat press and sublimate these socks. Next, you need to set your heat press to 400 degrees for 40 seconds with medium to firm pressure. And once it's heated up, you're ready to go. Make sure that you lay down butcher paper or craft paper, both on the bottom and the top of your socks. So I'll lay one layer down first. Then I'll lay down both of my socks with the sublimation design facing up at the top of the heat press. And I'm gonna make sure they are not overlapping. Then I'll cover it with a second piece of butcher paper. And we'll sublimate them for 40 seconds. Then once the sublimating is finished, we're gonna remove both pieces of butcher paper because I'm gonna replace with brand new pieces for the other side. Then when the socks are cool enough to the touch, I'll go ahead and peel the design off. And it looks so good. It's so bright and so fun. I can't wait to do the other side. I'm just gonna remove the tape from that back side. And now we'll peel the other sock too. 
How bright and fun are those Grinch socks? While I'm letting the socks cool down a little longer before I tape the other side, I can go ahead and replace my butcher paper. And once they're ready, we're gonna follow all the same steps that we did to sublimate the front of the sock, except that we do need to roll the edges of the sock just like we did with the athletic socks in my previous silky sock video. And the purpose of rolling the edges is so that we don't have any plain white lines along the sides of the socks. So we'll just roll the design in towards the back. That way you can see the colors just on the edges of the socks. And again, this is a little bit less important with a design with a white background. This is much more obvious when you have a full color design, but I still think it's a good practice. But we also wanna make sure that everything is flat. So we may have to play with the fabric of the sock just a little bit. Then when it's in a good place, again, we'll limp roll that back side and we'll take another sublimation print and position it on the back. We wanna make sure that we're getting lots of good um, Grinch pattern on our sock. So the easiest way that I have found to do this is to turn the sock around backwards and you guys probably can't see it in the light, but you can actually see the um, shadow of the sock through the paper and then you can decide where to position your pattern. And there we have it. So now we'll go ahead and place tape on the front side of the sock that already has our design and we'll trim away the excess away from the sock. And then we're ready to go on the back side, but I'm not gonna set my sock on the platen of the heat press just yet because I don't want it to get too hot. So I'm gonna set it aside while I repeat all the same steps on the other sock. Then once both the back sides of the socks have the design taped onto them, I'm gonna lay them on the platen of the heat press again with the sublimation design facing up at the top of the heat press. Then I'll cover it with another piece of butcher paper and sublimate for another 40 seconds. And when the socks are cool enough for you to touch, then you can peel off the design and see how it turned out. Oh my gosh, you guys, these designs turned out so cute. The colors are so bright and vivid. And especially with a Christmas pattern, they would be the best sublimation stocking stuffers ever. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm obsessed with how bright and vivid these socks turned out. If you need information on sizing your no-show socks, you can find a size chart in the Heat Transfer Warehouse product description linked down in the video description below. If you need these no-show socks as a stocking stuffer or as a little gift for yourself, drop an emoji down in the comments below. If you learned something in this video, then be sure to give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to DIY Alex for more sublimation and Cricut tutorials just like this one every single week. If we haven't already connected on social media, you can find links to all of my social profiles down in the description below. All the hearts.